What is up everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie and today we're talking about the Kawiko Steel Sport Fountain Pen. I want to start off by letting you all know that I did get this for free from MassDrop.com. Um, the if, For those of you who don't know who MassDrop is, it's a community-driven commerce kind of section. Uh, they sell and make products based on community input. Um, so this one is a drop that's coming up pretty much now, um, which you can go over and check. There'll be a link in the description down below. Um, essentially, this is very, very similar to a uh, review I've already done on the Kuwaiko Sport. Um, which I will link in the iCard as well so you can get a little bit more detailed there. Um, but this is the steel version. So it is completely metal. Um, it feels really, really nice in my hand actually. Way nicer than I was expecting. Uh, the brush, like brushed steel look almost feels really, really cool. Um, and I like that the, the metal starts cold to the touch but warms up the more that you use it. Um, despite being a steel pen, the nib is the same, which funnily enough is <laughs> a steel nib. Um, same nib that you'll find on the majority of Caveco's, um, you know, introductory pens. Uh, and as you can see here, it uses a standard international short cartridge. Um, you cannot eyedrop or convert this one though, like you can the others, because it is all metal, of course. Um, but these cartridges are pretty handy and you can find them pretty much anywhere. As you can see here, um, it does fit nicely in my hand unposted. It's almost too short for my hand, um, but I actually quite like it um, because it is all metal. It's quite heavy, um, significantly heavier than the resin version. Um, so I enjoy the fact that it is small, otherwise it would be too heavy. Um, does post very securely, so if you are, uh, you know, larger hand size kind of thing, um, you can definitely post, add some length. Just be aware that that lid is also completely steel, um, and will add, uh, weight to the back of the pen. Um, but man, I love that lettering that's on the, the lid there. It is just stellar. Um, and it almost kind of changes between like a light steel color and a black color depending on the light, which I think is really, really cool. Um, so here we see I'm pulling out the um, Caveco resin fountain pen that I have um, because I noticed a little bit of a difference between the two. Um, so when they are posted and put side by side, you can see that the resin version is actually a little bit longer. Um, in actuality, as far as writing experience goes, I don't find a difference between the two, um, but clearly you can see that the steel version is a little bit shorter when it's not posted, or sorry, when it is posted. Um, when it is not posted side by side, uh, they're pretty much the same size. Um, there's not a whole lot of difference. The steel version is ever so slightly longer but you really it's negligible you can't tell um, maybe by like a millimeter or two um, which again in writing purposes you don't notice um, so in that sense it doesn't really matter <laughs> Um, but of course the resin, resin version is significantly lighter and you can have the option to eyedrop or convert it however the steel version, I don't think you're ever going to break. I think other than the nib, dropping it directly on the nib, I think that pen is indestructible, um, whereas the resin version can definitely have an impact. Um, like I said, I was provided this pen for review purposes, so I don't know the pricing off the top of my head, but I can only imagine that the steel version is more expensive than the resin version, um, so you would have to pay more, but you can uh, have that option. The clip here that I'm putting on is something that I've had on my resin version. You can buy that separately. Um, it does, of course, fit on this um, steel version as well. Um, so that is quite nice. You can interswap, you know, your accessories. Um, but I did notice um, when I used this one, it is a lot stiffer to put on and off than it is on the resin version. Um, and that's most likely just because it's uh, metal on metal. Um, so there's much more resistance than metal on resin. Um, and I also did notice that on the cap, when I had that um, put there, 
you can notice there are two very faint scratch marks, um, but those you can actually rub out a little bit. Um, so I think over time you will get some scratching on this pen, but just based on the oils from your fingers, um, you can actually rub a lot of them out. And here you can kind of see, you know, the the grain of the steel, um, that, that finish there is really nice and it's actually really fingerprint resistant. You really have to look in order to see the fingerprints, which was my main concern uh, when I was, um, you know, knowing that I was going to be sent this pen for review purposes. I did not know how the fingerprints were going to go. Um, so overall, I actually really love this Koiko pen over the resin version. Um, I will say with the writing experience, uh, I was a little bit nervous because I didn't really enjoy <clears throat> my experience with the resin version as much as I was hoping to. This version, I think because the pen itself is a little bit heavier, um, it actually makes it a little bit easier to write with. Um, typically my experience with Caveco pens, their nibs are a little on the wet side, or sorry, a little bit on the dry side, whereas I prefer my pens to be wet. Um, and they are definitely on the stiff side. But because this pen is a little bit heavier, I don't have to put as much effort into um, into like the writing to, to actually make the ink come out um, in a wetter stance. And by that I mean typically when you have a drier writing pen, your instinct is going to be to push harder on the paper um, than you need to. And because, like I said, this pen is heavier, it does the work for you, essentially. Um, it is still in comparison to higher end gold nibs, it is still um, a drier writer, it is still a stiffer writer. But that said, I much prefer this nib, and um, this is a fine nib, um, it was sent to me that way. I much prefer this nib over any of the Twisby nibs that I've had, um, which is a very popular pen. So, really, I'm very pleased with this pen. Um, it's never skipped, hard started on me, never had any issues. It's actually pretty darn smooth, and as you saw there by the reverse writing, it works really, really well. Um, so, I'm definitely pleased. Uh, but, guys, Thanks for checking this out. Hit that mass drop link down below if you're interested. Um, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I make videos every Monday and Friday. And as always, I will see you next time. Bye, guys.